Put that coffee down. So what's your opinion, man? Do you think people are born entrepreneurs or do you think they can be cultivated into one? Well, entrepreneurs are different. Anyone can become a salesperson, right? Anyone can sell uh, because it's a process-driven activity. It really is. Like, obviously, everyone starts at different levels of the ladder and some people's ladder goes higher than others, Mm -hmm. right? But sales is true process-driven. Entrepreneurship is, is different, right? So... Like, and just because you're a good entrepreneur doesn't mean you should run a business. Mm. So um, I'm, v- I'm very entrepreneurial, but I'm also like, I think the, one of the things that I've done well is that I've surrounded myself with people who are not yes men. Mm. And I've, I know what I'm bad at. And so I'm like a true entrepreneur, but like I'm really good at like not being selfish, mm. not hoarding money, spending mm. money <laughs> on people. Yeah. Um, so that I can surround myself with the people who are going to like actually run the business because I'm not that good at running a business. Yeah. I'm good at setting up a business. I'm good at making sure it scales mm. and answering the questions. But the people who are really good at running, like they're not going to be the ones that will scale it. Mm-hmm. You know, like they're yeah. different personality types. Yeah. Um, and so you got to kind of fall into your lane, uh, I think, and then surround yourself with the right people. So no, I don't think people can become entrepreneurial. Mm. Mm. Um, that really is because like the risk ratios, I think mm-hmm. that entrepreneurs are willing to take mm-hmm. is very different, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I'm willing to do large risks. Yeah. My, my risk tolerance is extremely high. Yeah. Um, way higher than most. And the, and, and that has uh, allowed me to grow my business far faster than what most people could yeah. because I was willing to do it with basically making no money in the process. Right. Having $2 million come in yeah. and having 1999000 go out. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, 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 buddy. And seeing that as a great thing. <laughs> Look right. how much fucking money I spent this much. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? 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 Um, but knowing that there's a, having enough business acumen to be able to know that there's a light at the end of that tunnel, it's all intentional. So that when it's intentional, it's fine. Yeah. When you just wake up and you have no margin, that's a bad thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think sales, anyone can be decent at sales mm. or good at sales. Mm. Not everyone can be amazing at sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, entrepreneurship is, I just I think, a totally different thing. Mm. Um, like, where do you think you sit? in that like are you just like that real arty entrepreneur or Mm. do you think you run somewhere else yeah that's a good question you know we were jamming about that a little bit where it's there's a lot to entrepreneurship and i think people really use that word very loosely it really Uh, is entrepreneur oh i'm an entrepreneur Uh, well what's your business well it's me and i haven't sold anything yet but i'm not you know there's i think a lot of different definitions of it um am i a traditional kind of like you know, operator that's good at, you know, setting up different structures and, and managing multiple teams and, um, you know, a lot of spreadsheets and a lot of that kind of like hardcore, you know, gritty entrepreneurial stuff. No, that's not definitely not the kind of entrepreneur that I am. I, I definitely feel like I'm more the um, creator. Um, I, I, the visionary. The visionary dancing monkey yeah. kind of. But that's a good place to be. So <laughs> like the visionary role. It's it's very coaching and consulting, right? <laughs> uh, but in reality, it's basically yeah, it's sort of like a chairman, right? Mm. So it's the person who is creative for who's responsible for the overall feel and direction of the business, right? Yeah. Like this is like this. The business needs to be a reflection of yeah. you. Yeah. Um. And then from that, like your mission, your vision, your values need to be handed down. Yeah. The operators are then responsible and accountable for making sure those things are hit. Yeah. You know. Um. And so, like that, I think it's a it's a great spot to be. I think most businesses need one. Mm. I think the problem with coaching and consulting is that people take the piss out of that, and they refuse to put operators in. Yeah, and they think that they can run a business at five or six hundred thousand dollars a month, right? And they can just do some wild shit yeah. and get away with it. Yeah, and I don't think that that doesn't benefit their staff. You know, if you're running like we're talking about, guys running at a seventy percent margin, mm. so Jesus, mate, what are you not doing? Yeah, <laughs> that's terrifying. To well, me. it's like it's like well, it's interesting to take a step back, right? Because like, how many people do you know, right, that are in the coaching consulting business that this is they've had like two other successful exits? You know, maybe they exited, maybe they they launched a software company, they exited it, maybe they they had launched I don't know a supplement or a retail thing, they exited it, and now they want to launch a, a coaching or consulting business. I personally. I mean, I'd have to really think about it, but off the top of my head, I don't know any of them. No. So my 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 point is, I think most people in this business. This is like kind it's of their, their first f- business. It's their first. Yeah. So, so it's not, I mean, it's more of a, uh, make it till you make it hustle. Like we're figuring it out. We're still young. Let's see how it goes. 
And and here's the big thing: they've never seen this anything close to this much amount of money. Yeah. And then that pollutes you a little bit. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. 